Verse 19. 19. Oh, no, Isaiah 45. Let's read out. Peace and good. It says, I publicly proclaim bold promises. I do not whisper of securities in some dark corner. I would not have told the people of Israel to seek me if I could not be found. I, the Lord, speak only what is true and declare only what is right. Hiába keressetek engem, én az Úr az igazságot szólok, és megjelentem, amit igazok. Let's focus here, and I want you to fix your eyes, and I publicly proclaim bold promises. Itt így ő mondja az angolból, hogy nyilvánosan szóltam, tehát nem titkon magyarban. And when he said, I would not have told the people of Israel to seek me if I could not be found. És hogy hiába kerestek, keressetek engem. Az Úr igazságot szólok, és megjelentem, amit igazodik. The things and the words that we read in the Bible, az, amit most itt olvasunk a Bibliában, they are not mere words. Pardon? They are not just words. Ezek nem csak szavak. They are words from the Lord God Almighty. Adem a mindenható Istennek a szavai. And it will not remain only in paper. És nem csak papírban van itt. It will become. Uh, it will come true in our lives. The Lord said He proclaimed bold promises. And we all know that the God we serve is our promise keeper. No matter when we ask people, we tend to divert from our own words. We tend to nail our promises to stones. We tend to forget what we told people about. But the God we serve is not like that. He knew every promise he promised you. He will keep it. And in his perfect time, he will make it happen. The God we serve is the God who will find. And if we seek, we will find Him. If we ask, the door will be open. He will give what we ask for. In accordance to His will and mercy. Let's all rise up together. Let's all offer our prayers to Jesus. Let's tell him, Lord, here we are. Believing that you are our way maker, O God. We believe that you are our promise keeper, Lord Jesus. And we believe that each and every promises you have told us will come to pass, Lord. In our lives, in our families, in our generation. Lord, we come here before you to seek you, Lord. With all our hearts. Holy Spirit, come, fall before us and fill our cups of longing. Refresh us anew, Lord God, for we have been beaten by the weak, Lord. We have been tired. We have been disappointed. We have been scolded by our bosses. The world has has uh, pressed us, Lord God. But we are never crushed, for we have you. We will rise again this morning, Lord Jesus. Feel us, Lord, feel us once again. Come, Holy Spirit, and fall upon us. És te tőzsbe bennünket. Fill our cups once again. Tőzsbe bennünket. Make us 
experience you once again. Have fellowship with us once again. Let us feel you once again this morning. And throughout the week, Lord. In Jesus' name. Amen.
So this morning, come Holy Spirit. We long for you. We're reaching for your heart, Lord God, this morning. You hold our hands in your hands. You hold our lives in your hands, Lord. And we desire you today more than anything. Your fellowship is beyond compare, Lord. Let us feel it this morning. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name.
Thank you. 
and they long to see you move. Say, so I yearn for you, long to see.
how to be thankful teach us how to be joyful and teach us Lord how to continue to rely on you no matter what situation we are in for you will always be there Lord you said you will never leave us nor forsake us and let this word be printed in our hearts that when things fell down when it feels like the earth is upon our shoulders when things go wrong let us remember this word that you will never leave us nor forsake us and lead us towards prayer a prayer that's pleasing before you a prayer that will lead us towards your feet in humility and surrender and make our souls bless you in your holy name in jesus name amen have a great sunday everyone